the other day while I was online, I was asked a quick question by somebody about how it is that you can take a beauty shear and measure it for an individual's hand. I figured I'd take a couple minutes today and show how at least I teach people how to do that when I'm teaching in class and also what some others have taught at some of the different shows that I've been to. One of the methods I've seen for measuring a beauty shear for the hand is the palming method. It's where you actually take the person's hand and take one of the shears that you're looking at selling them and place it into the palm of your customer's hand. What you should see is the shear lay across the palm with the tang down at the very bottom of the palm and extending up along the middle finger. The tip should fall somewhere between the first knuckle of the middle finger and the tip. You can see that this shear is just ever so slightly too short. If I switch over to this shear and do the same thing, you can see that this shear is just a little too long for my hand. If I do the same thing for this shear here, which is a sample shear that I had received in from someone, you can see that this shear matches my hand very well. So that's one way that you can actually measure a shear for the hand. I learned this when I was at Bonnie's show, the, uh, the scissor jam that she does every year. Down in the bottom of this post, I'll, I'll do a quick link to how you can find out some information on how you can attend that show. The other way that I measure a shear is actually along the length of the middle finger from the tip of the middle finger back to the second knuckle on the hand. What I teach in class is I never want that shear to extend beyond that second knuckle. This one is just on the edge of being about the right length, maybe just a smidge too long. This other shear, you can see, is way too long. It extends beyond the second knuckle, and what I'm doing is I'm measuring from the beginning of the cutting edge out to the tip, and I put the beginning of the cutting edge right at the tip of the finger on this other shear, the wolf. You can see we have a good match right here. It does not extend beyond that second knuckle. The theory behind this is, is if the shear is too long, the customer is going to cut into the webbing of the hand right between the first knuckle and second knuckle of the punching part of your hand with your first finger and middle finger. Often stylists will get cut in this area. This will help decide whether or not a shear might be a little too long for this customer. Now this is not a perfect science by any means. This is just a way that you can use to measure the shears to see if they fit the hand a little bit better and it's good for helping with sales as well. 